And five, four, three, two, one. Oh, is a countdown now? Nah, I'm just adding the con- countdown because... Uh, countdown? Th- like, I, I'm putting the audio <coughs> on the intro until I get my intro song. Mm. And I don't have an intro song unless I pay some rapper or somebody to... You're going to pay a rapper? Pay a rapper to go ahead How and... How about uh, get some good old American rock and roll? <laughs> yeah, that might work too. But I mean, even a simple s- drum beat, but I want like a hardcore drum beat if it, if I do... You can do it? ...have anything. What's that? You can do it? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it. Actually, I can. I, I can produce the um, actual beat. For the intro, so hopefully that's gonna happen. But yeah, not, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't help with that. That's too much work. Producing music. So what's up? Music Welcome up. back again for another episode. And here we are, uh, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day. So um, yeah, Labor Day is almost over. Labor Day special. So here we are. <laughs> Very special. Yeah, another special episode. Every episode is special. Mm-hmm. Every Tristan Shop Talk is special. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But. Some are more special than others. But yeah, um, up, update. I, um, school is going well. I'm going on the second or third week. Okay. I'm keeping up with my assignments. Yeah. I'm being a good student. Yeah. I'm not trying to, you know, mess up or uh, fuck over this uh, degree plan. So. Yeah, don't. Um, let me re. Not say the f word too much because I I yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I'm already reading yeah. the comments or reading to to criticism, mm. but uh, I was told to ref, you know refrain yeah, know. from yeah, know. from cussing it's refrain hard. to it's but I mean difficult. actually when you're on here and then you're actually in the mix you really feel very expressive so it's when you're on the that. mic That's and just you're how fear, I talk. well yeah it's how I talk too but then I want to express myself where I'm expressing yeah. myself. Like, like I wanted to mean something. Like when I talk, so when I'm talking, I'm talking. You know, yeah. It means was the criticism. Like, did I curse too much? Was that was, was that some of the criticism? Uh, it was just like it was said from being like ignorant, like you're, and it was like whatever, okay. But I mean, ignorant or not, like I'm, what what the bottom line was is the that that this is my podcast, this is my platform, so I'm down to say whatever. I was ignorant. No, I'm saying not you. I'm saying the person who said that. Uh, uh, Stephen Cussing is is almost ignorant, yeah. and then that was kind of, was kind of I funny mean, because it's like it, 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 it's, it's like lowbrow. Well, it's not. I mean, <laughs> but it's also how fucking people talk. <laughs> yeah, but the the other thing too is the episode is based on being the twentieth episode. It was the twentieth yeah. episode. Yeah, I had so episode twenty one with Marlo Ray, but the yeah. episode twenty was just episode twenty. Mm-hmm. I, I'm new at this. I am still totally new to this whole podcast world. Yeah. My whole key to the whole talk. podcast thing is just to show that I'm I'm uh, just talking and still doing the talking that I've always been doing, uh-huh. and still speak what I need to speak. Yeah, but just now you can put it on the screen. Yeah, now and then now I'm documenting it, so I'm You're documenting you know, it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, how no, I feel. You, yeah, yeah, it's exactly how I feel. Yeah, so, so I mean, this whole can, this whole just put it out there. This whole production is is definitely took a lot of work, and then now I think no I have deal. it pretty simplified. Now it's simplified. Uh-huh. I mean, we're sacrificing on some things right now. Hopefully, somebody can hear that. We are sacrificing on some things. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning, you know, time, time, and, yeah. and just fitting it in when you can. So, yeah, getting in uh, where you but, fit in. But, 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 I mean, I think it's something positive, too, because you're coming by, we're talking, seeing what's yeah. up, uh, making sure everything's going well on both ends. And, like yeah. I said, I'm still continuing my journey on that school thing. I'm, yeah. I'm, my whole goal is to get this school thing done. And um, the whole other job search is still on on, on a go too. So uh, that that's also been uh, what's yeah, been brought brought to light. So you know whatever it is it is, what it is. but cheers. Uh, okay, is this, this? Yeah. this is the yeah, thing. You, 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 yeah, I was told today what well, you and Danny playing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're playing. So <laughs> just mad because nobody wants to play with you. And see that that can be taken like we're I, playing. I, no, but and it, I was like, and this these so? things are actually going on YouTube. So that's yeah, what I said. I know. I'm yeah, putting myself yeah, out there yeah, on YouTube. I mean, we're playing. I'm actually we're putting playing. myself out there on YouTube. So I mean, I, and then when people are like, "Oh yeah, they're oh, they, they like little playing little games," like, yo, I, I I ain't no Johnny Carson. No, you know, I ain't, we could I ain't know, I ain't know uh, so Jay Leno. Yeah. Um, I'm following them almost the same path as them. I'm trying to go do stand up. 
Yeah, you trying to get a little, like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get it going. I mean, my my dad was always looking up to uh, Johnny Carson. Yeah, I mean, Johnny I, Carson every time I walked through the living room, he would be laughing. Yeah, and then he would yeah. be laughing at his. I guests. remember Johnny Carson. And then yeah. I remember one of his best guests that he liked was um, uh. um, Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, Good Morning Vietnam by Robin Williams. So hold on, <laughs> yeah, the guest was Robin Williams. Yeah, but yeah. I think he at the time he was already doing Mork and Mindy, maybe. Well, Mork and Mindy, yeah, was yeah. after it was before Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, my whole point. I think every podcast now is more like a uh, Johnny Carson. Well, it, it's Johnny Carson at the time. You had to actually have uh, a channel station, or if there not only that, three a pro- spots. Well, yeah, it was there CBS, was the spot NBC. Of NBC, CBS, and ABC. Yeah, and I don't know who was on the other channels, but there were no. other people there. But Johnny Carson got that gig in the '60s, and that was at a time when everybody watched it. Like everybody watched that. I I, I remember those. Yeah, days. but that, that's that's what even going into the '90s before he retired. But I've, that's another thing with everybody like how different and how it. how things have changed now. Yeah, it's very different because people can do this, and now like you know people had to like everybody. I mean, I guess you were forced it, but people had to agree to watch Johnny Carson. So you're never going to get that many people to agree to do the same thing again. So now you have this where you know uh, some people have a lot of. Well, no, and then that's why I tell people. Like I tell it's people, not as people, I'm like, it's not I'm twenty million people a night watching. But but I also tell people that it, it's also it's, it's not that hard to do it. I mean, you get some no, mics. No, it's not. No, as no. long as you have a computer system that's willing yeah. to run, you yeah, know, no, yeah, the RAM to to record digital. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Then you also got probably yeah. It's get very your, easy to do and get yourself on the screen. Yeah, yeah. And it was you, hard. You had to have big ass cameras, like a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Well, no, no. Yeah, it's simplified. But like I said, even now though, <laughs> I still Carson got to get back. more better cameras and more angles. Yeah. This is just to get us on video. Imagine trying to buy. Imagine trying to do like a a podcast, <laughs> some sort of radio show in the sixties. Like, no. Yeah. But having but a even element, no, you no, have no. to buy a ninety thousand dollar <laughs> camera. Yeah, you know what my head connects to? My head connects to uh, La Bamba. Tape this big La Bamba. Yeah. Yeah. My head connects to picks. La Bamba. No, uh-huh. well, to La Bamba, where yeah. like Richie Valens. He gets asked by this producer to come and record. Uh-huh. Obviously, when I was young watching that movie, I just understood like, oh wow, this you know white guy went and asked the Mexican kid like, hey, I need, I want to record some tunes that you're playing. And the yeah. guy, and then to the mom, and they're like, oh great, so they go yeah. down there, and then he's like, hey, well, what, Bob. what about my band? Yeah. And then she goes, ah, well, I'm just interested in your music, and that's it. Yeah. And then he goes, well. And then he looks at the, the, the studio, and he's like, well, this is Delphi Records. And he's like, well, I think it was Delphi. And then he said, oh, like, I have a recorder. I have a room. Uh-huh. I have, I mean, I have everything you need, so let's start recording, you right. know? And then I'll pay you to, you know, record your music. Right. And then Richie Valens, obviously, that's what made him famous. And yeah. then, you know, obviously, he took the offer. But right. I just always think about, like, you know, same scenario. It's, just, it's a basic process. It's uh-huh. all you just start the process of just doing it. Yeah. So it's re- almost relative to like doing a podcast. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like it if I really if, for if, I, if I if I want to go that. towards recording music, then I would want to go towards recording music. <laughs> right. But then also that's another idea. I still want to have possibly a band and then set up like a band and and actually have a band play too. Uh, you want to really do some Johnny Carson stuff. Well, no, I I would would definitely have Delton come back, and yeah, I'll have Delton yeah. play. And mm-hmm. Delton would be down to play some music, so yeah, you know, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Wouldn't be know? a bad idea at all. No, no. yeah. So it'd yeah. be really like Johnny Carson. Was that? It'd be really like you know a real <laughs> talk show. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. So, with all that being said, uh, I guess the other things that have been going on was. Uh, Last week I went to the, or uh, well yeah no, no did, yeah two days ago I went to the Astros game against Yankees yeah Saturday yeah. the Yankees swept the Astros this week maybe they maybe they maybe they got Atuve hurt on purpose just so he wouldn't play on Saturday you know mm. they hit him on Friday mm-hmm. so that he couldn't play mm-hmm. so one of the bigger hitters was out of the game mm-hmm. and then um, when I went to the game it was we were uh, about seventeen rows behind uh, the first base. Yeah, you're on the first baseline. Yeah, so yeah. then uh, I could be really loud. And yeah. I got too loud where I actually had to get up and walk off because it was just too bad. 
It was too bad. Did they was, make you leave? Well, it was Judge. I hit a home run, and then he uh-huh. just like hit that mug. Like not not even the second <laughs> pitch. Right. I think it was the. I, b- I believe it was the first pitch, and I was mad. I was really yeah. mad. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I hadn't been to a game forever. Yeah. You know, and then you get back into it. You know, you're having a good time. You're having a few beers. You having know, a few beers. Yeah. yeah, having a few beers, and then like, it just made me upset. Yeah. And then of and course you started cursing. Yeah, I, I I cursed, I cussed, and then I felt really bad because mm-hmm. then there was a couple that said, "Hey, like." uh you know, there's kids around. And then did they I, have their I children saw, I, with them? No, nah, they had like some dude looked like he was like 24, 23. You know, <laughs> yeah, they were but talking then, about but, other people. Yeah, they were talking about other people, uh, and they're like, "Hey, there's families around here. There's kids out here." Okay, and <laughs> yeah, you brought them to the baseball game. <laughs> so then, then, then I just explained that you know I had money on the game, and then you know you like, explained that. Yeah, I said that just to say, just to you know put it in, I guess context. Should have been like my bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, go, no, but God I mean, damn it. But yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm a grown man. You I mean, like, yeah, I'm man. a grown man. Of course, if I get upset, I'm gonna express that I'm upset. You know? Yeah, people never said that back in the days. I remember being a, 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 a young boy at baseball games and football games, and I remember people speaking their mind. I remember my parents ever being like, "Our, our kids here." So, well, it was a shout out, and then when I said shout out, it was a shout out, and then it was almost just kind of. Done. Yeah. Just done. Okay. So you only you went to the game what day? What was that Friday? Friday uh, I talked to you. Yeah. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. And then the Astros got swept. I didn't see any of them. No, no, no. I went to their game on Saturday. Saturday, okay. Yeah, last night. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, when I was at the birthday party. Yeah. And then I was at a Mexican kid's birthday party. Yeah. I met a lot of those lately. Really? Yeah. And then these That's parties are there. Kids class. Piñatas or this there? Yeah, there's piñata. Yeah, this one here was official. Last week I had to go to a paintballing party. Oh wow! Yeah, we went and played paintball. <laughs> <laughs> Some Mexican people too. <laughs> yeah, they love paintball. Those dudes were pulling out guns. Like they, they wouldn't let them play with them because we were playing with kids, so they had the smaller paintballs. Yeah, you can leave welches on your. Uh, you can leave welches on. Your yeah, he game. got hit. My son got hit, and he was. I don't want to do it anymore. And I'm like, hey man, you brought me out here. So, is so this, you're gonna keep playing. Oh, so so the uh, cake and all. Yeah, yeah, pizza, pizza. <laughs> yeah, it was hot as fuck, but it was. It was, it was I was like, this is a crazy. This party's wild. I would love this. <laughs> I I participated. Yeah. She was like, you want to play? I'm like, sure. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So uh, this is what happened. So this is this is all this is all you're missing out on. As far as not having a child, is just going to birthday parties and trying to relate. And because you don't know who your kids are friends with. And, the, and like these people here at the last party, they were super nice. But the, uh, huh? And, well, no, no. Because I do think about that. I think about <laughs> like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm uh, at this age of being my age now. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. It's wild too, because even at my age, all the like the parents are way younger than me. They're all in their mid thirties, early thirties. Is yeah. it bad to say I'm just tired? I'm tired. Just tired. <laughs> no, I'm very tired. I'm no, I'm just. I mean, it's just tomorrow. like I've I've been trying so long to get where I need to get. I've gotten kind of, and then you know, and then I'm doing this whole school thing, and then. Now it's like, uh, and then it's just so back and forth. And so I'm just like, just all over the place. In yeah. Ways, you know, because, you know, it's just trying to find, I guess, where I need to be. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Yep. Trying to find where you need to be. But I, like I said, that's all you're missing. Yeah. Yeah, going, yeah. Uh, yeah. But when you think that's about a very it. interesting part, though, is going and meeting all these different people. Yeah, uh, <laughs> your children just become friends with them on Roblox, and then you just you wind up you're there. You're RSVPing, and the man, you know, speaks a little English. Yeah, and then you go, and you're just like, <laughs> like last night was wild. We showed up on time, and they were like, "Oh, you're already here?" Like, yeah, we're here on time. They were like, ah, well, we haven't started the food yet. They're like, ah, like you can leave him here. <laughs> he can play with the keys. 
and Drew can come back. He said, I'll test you when the food come, when the food is ready. And uh, we just left him there. Yeah. And came back later. But it was very late. They didn't cut the cake till like 8.30. They were tripping. The pinata came out. It was damn near dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that they had like too nice. much beer for the cooler. That seems like it was kinda... wild. It was, uh, it was a wonderful party. Yeah. It's fun every week, really, because it's a different adventure. But it's really, it's literally a party every week, Danny. But no, you, you got to also be financially able to have this child. You got to be able to financially... Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, that's what I think about too. more or less. You, gotta, you know, you know, you want to have Medicaid parties. You want to have parties for the kids. Yeah, you, you can wanna, save like, them for a party. Celebrate yeah. and do all that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can throw. A, it's easy. You can throw a party. You can go like flipping fun or something for like four hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, maybe cheaper. I mean, I Just mean, buy some pizzas. Even back to the game. That's why I would like to. You know, if, if I was, but like I said, it's, I don't think it's gonna happen. You know, I mean, just. Going to games with kids, you know, kids being around, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot, it's a big responsibility, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Having kids? Yeah, I, I guess at this age, you'd be a very old father. N- they say I still have a chance. Oh, you, uh, you, you have a chance till you're dead. You're a man, you have, you know, you, yeah, you, you have a chance, always. I'm well, just saying, like, me, I had my first child at 30 and my second one at 33, and I'm still so much older than the other parents at this party. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much I, older. I, there, there, there's some that are, you know, everybody else in their 30s. I mean, also, I, I still feel I'm still trying to figure this all out, you know. I, I still don't even know what I'm Figure doing. what out? This whole Instagram? Dating thing, you know. Oh, well, you'll never figure that out. That shit is ridiculous. Yeah. Don't even try to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. And then, now, see, the thing is, though, like all this, like, I mean, you know, you, <laughs> you haven't done it because you haven't wanted to. I hate when people, oh, I haven't found the right girl. You'll never find the right girl. You have to find a girl. I, I, I mean, I mean you, you can give all, <laughs> you can cut all of them off. Like, there's a reason. <laughs> You just gotta, yeah, Danny. I mean, I re- you, well, I recently, you I, have I, remarkable. Uh, I, I respect you, like I, I do. Uh, just for like, it ain't easy though, huh? It's not easy though. Yeah, I mean, I know it just has to come natural for you to just be like, you know what, fuck that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, because it's you saying fuck that. Like every girl you met, uh, you, you've met some woman that was worthy of Danny Seed and the Tristan last name. You you haven't? No, I mean it happened, but <laughs> it's happened plenty of times. You just didn't want it, which is cool. Which is cool. No, 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 no. But then also it's like depending like the situation, like the, some of the some of the dating situations I was in. Like when you when I look back, it was always I guess something <laughs> was said that shouldn't have been said, vice versa. And then next thing you know, you find yeah. yourself that you were single again, you know, and then you're back out there again. So you're like, damn, okay. Yeah. You know, all right. Well, here I go again. You know. Yeah. And then, like I said, I'll go even go back to the whole being away for five years, being away, and then mm-hmm. coming back, mm-hmm. and then starting from nothing, and then you know you got to have money to take you know enjoy a night out, do things like that, and then, yeah, you do. And then that takes That's trial and error and doing that, and then also at the same time you're dating, and then then you date ones that you're cool, you thought they were cool, then they really weren't cool, and then <laughs> it's just like, a, it's a cycle, it's, a re- it's just just a cycle, and then you're just like, and then like I said, that's when I go back to what we were saying earlier, I'm just tired. <laughs> you're tired of dating, so what are you going to do? No, 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 I meant like I'm tired, meaning you're like- You're tired of women? No, 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 no. I meant like I'm, I'm tired as in like- Tell me something. I'm just tired as in, you know, if I was, I don't think I'm going to have a kid, you know? Because uh, I'm referring back to what you were saying. You can you know? always have a child. No, no, but I'm referring back to what you're saying. You know, like you're you know, not having, even close having a, to fifty. You yeah, but you got to have parties for the kid. You know, you yeah, got to take so? the kids. Uh, you got to take them, keep them occupied. You got to yeah, do. You do. It's fun. It just becomes your whole deal. <laughs> I have, I have, <laughs> I I have some. I would say some friends that have wives that don't really. I would say. Like me to be friends with their yeah well you know I understand that too. husband sometimes but check or, this out uh, and then and then that that causes sometimes conflict because from the conflict it's just like yeah. of of like you know this guy has his mind on just being out there and just 
doing things and it's just like, yeah, hey, man, I'm just a very private person, you know, already. Uh-huh. So I just don't. You I don't, don't open up to women. No, well, yeah, that and then like, especially, you know, even some of my friends barely know what I'm doing, you know, so it's uh-huh. just like, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But my point is like. A man of mystery. <laughs> well, no, it's just being private. It's just private. Yeah. I just say it. Like the I most quickest way is private. You know? Just being private about it. This sock keeps on getting my. <laughs> trying so, to put. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, going. Anybody can do a podcast. You know? Yeah. Know. Anybody can do the yeah, podcast. Yeah, we're doing one. So, here we are. Yeah. Another episode. And then, you know. Um, got some good views on episode 20. Yeah, know, that's kid. amazing. And then another thing, subscribe and then hit like yeah. and then do whatever you're, you know, make I mean, a you comment can, yeah. if you have to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you I mean if you want to hate on y'all, like, if you want to hate y'all, go ahead and hate. I mean, you know? don't. If you want to, you know, I hope, you know. Just leave just, a like, yeah, subscribe, I and keep going. I, like, I really don't care. see a video every day. Uh, up in the Even if it was a family member that wanted to hate, you know, go ahead. Yeah. I don't know. Well, let's not talk about haters. But anyway, like I was saying, just on the thing and and just saying, like, don't, you don't have to rule it out. It can happen. You just have to be willing to, you know, you sell your soul. Yeah. Yeah, you're a coward, Danny. A coward, how? A coward. How am I a coward? Because you haven't taken that plunge. (laughs) No, that's not being a coward. It's yeah, it is. Smart. It's being a coward. I see people say that, yes, but it's something that people do. Well, I mean, I, I, I do when I do. I do when, you know, I don't. I yeah, don't well, I mean, but so know, uh, I just get up and go. Yeah. Even if, I, even if I, even if I wanted to go, get up and just leave to Thailand. Technically, in a you're going to Thailand. You're going to find a woman there. I could just do that. Or if I you, yeah, you leave. could. You could easily. Or if do I that. wanted to leave to no, but I mean, I'm going to Thailand and like travel to like Fifi Islands, like yeah. like all those places like that are, um, like you should really bring one back. City, yeah. I mean, that, that's going to be what's perfect for you. You know, you that's can, get, you be can actually get a work it. visa over there and then just work. You want to work in Thailand? Yeah, but th- that would be like way, like when you're when I'm just just I, wanted, job, I just want to go waste Thailand, like a whole worth like it. half a year, huh? What job in Thailand would you do to be worth it? Oh, you can do anything. Really? Yeah, you, you can get be a scuba like, license. Uh, Rambo. You can be a scuba and, license and, and drive you can go a scuba boat, driving. drive people down the river. Or a scuba license that'd be cool. A scuba license? You're gonna be a scuba instructor yeah, a scuba in Thailand. Instructor. <laughs> <laughs> With the, I still want to get that license for this for this for scuba instruction. Yeah, yeah and you, then you could do, do that shit in Galveston. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could do that. There too. <laughs> yeah, like why go to fucking Thailand? Because it's just more beautiful. You can't really see. I mean, you could see some stuff in Galveston, but not that much. You know. Like, yeah, it's not. You know, it's it's not going to be as clear as you're going to see in Thailand. Even right. Florida is not even that clear anymore. Clear for what? For scuba diving, like when I was there, even snorkeling, it's like looking at like a big, like liquid LCD screen. You know, when you look at the screen with fish, it almost looks like that. Yeah. And then when I went snorkeling in Florida and the Keys, mm-hmm. totally different, dude. Totally like, I mean, it's still the water's blue, so you would think like, oh yeah, it's gonna be you know cleaner. Mm-hmm. But as you go down there and snorkel, it's darker. Like, right. like, still, like, the water's like dirtier in a way, but it's still blue. Versus Thailand, Thailand, you went down there, went down <clears> deep <throat> water, and then you're just like clear. So that's what I'm saying. You're going there. For, oh no, I mean, I guess I'm just talking shit. But then also would be cool would be Mexico too, though. But see, I don't want to give you getting shot and shit. You know, I want to be, <laughs> being a scuba instructor. <laughs> Yeah, I want to get you know. Okay, I mean, whatever, dude. That's okay. That sounds good. So I mean, it's kind of like and 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 where is this in the plan? Becoming nah, a scuba instructor? Nah, nah. Oh like well, how no. Far? Well, <laughs> no, I'm just talking. I'm just talking. Oh, you're just talking <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, man, don't do that. You usually, you know, you have a variety of interests. Well, no, no. Scuba diving is definitely on my list, but right. it's just not one of my priorities to it's finish. It's something right now. you enjoy. Oh, scuba yeah. Diving. No, no. That's the next step. Would be scuba diving because. Mm-hmm. I still need to take my board out for surfing and do that too, but yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. That'll be fun. 
Yeah, but that, that, there's no waves here. Where'd you move yeah. the surfboard? Oh, I moved it. I moved it off the... Out of the you yeah, know, you got to wait set. for the wind, right? It's got to be wind. Not even wind. It needs to be a hurricane or something, like a big swell that needs to come in. So. Yeah, golf surfing. But yeah. You just really go out there and just paddle, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's actually this mechanism you can put on the fin, and then it'll spin, and then you'll go. Yeah. And then I wanted to go uh, back. Yeah, obviously I'm going back on stand-up. So yeah. I'll probably be up there. In Austin? This week or next week. Oh, nah. Hell nah. nah Where? Nah, nah, nah. I'm... I'm I, after oh back up on the after the last interview with Marlo, we went over on how Marlo Ray. We went over the comparing the scenes from Austin to Houston uh-huh. comedy scene, and then what 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 we got from it, and what I got from just even having that conversation is just still push it hard and strong here in Houston as much right. as we can and represent Houston. Maybe take it to Austin every now and then, but then still have the base here in Houston. Yeah. I mean that. I mean, he he's. I mean, Marlo. He's, he was like really proud of us to be, just representing Houston right. you know, as a comedy scene. And he, yeah. He he's you know he said that Austin's saturated you know which it is you know yeah. very a lot of comics. It's almost like going to L A. Like I said before, excuse me. Going to L A. Before and you're just going there to act. So you just have everybody that's an actor. Right. Maybe you're out and. Excuse me, and then you're like, "Hey, well, you know, what are you here for in Austin?" You know, most everybody's saying now, com- comedian, comedian, yeah. comedian, comedian. Yeah. Everybody, everybody. Once Rogan got there, now everybody just going straight there. Uh-huh. So that's the whole, that's the common thing going on right now in Austin. So then it just becomes there. You're not, you're not being viewed by peers. Right. No, I'm sorry. You're being viewed. You're not being viewed by. You're being viewed by more comics. Than you are of actual people. Yeah. So then it's like, you know, you want to be viewed by people, just random crowds of people. And here in Houston, we still have that scene where not everybody's in comedy. It's like right. such a diver- diverse crowd here in Houston. As long as you have good material and you have a crowd, I mean, it's a win-win on both ends. Yeah. Because people want to see comedians. Right. But they want to see some crazy shit, you know. Yeah. They want to hear some crazy shit. So then all of a sudden, you know, you got to come with the guns or the material. So how did it go when you went up? The <laughs> last time I did okay. I did okay on a few jokes, but then I still, I'm still pers- going a little bit more, trying to like get it better going on, you know, whatever my uh, angle is still being searched. I mean, I have I have my angle now, but it's just like more of just, of of just doing it yeah so at the same time it's seeing what works but then also depending on the crowd depending what 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 time i go up how what time who's there who's not did you have uh, diverse did you write or did you come no yeah yeah no i've been writing but then, you know what i've been actually taking advantage more of writing on a whiteboard than okay. i have of actually of using even a, uh, notebook. a notebook or anything uh. so i've been doing always mainly just whiteboard so I write all my stuff on a whiteboard, and yeah. I usually write it before I go up. But then I, after throughout the day, I'll have some random things that are popping in my head, and I'll go to the whiteboard. Yeah. And then when I go to the whiteboard, I just write it down. Yeah. And then then I go back to it, and then I kind of go off from it. Okay. So I'm still doing that, and then also it's just still going to be based a lot about the ex job though. So mm. so a lot of it's going to be based on me working in the ER. But <laughs> okay. Um, but I mean, that, that should be a like, lot of material from that, isn't it? Yeah, that, and then, uh, then I'm going back to China, and then I'm trying to go with material. About You're going back to China? Well, no, I'm going back, meaning like, ah, like yeah, you should talk from about China, that. You know? yeah. So and then that's another thing to talk about. Um, so there's a lot for me to. There's a lot of material to go over. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Nah, man. So yeah. when are you going up this week? Maybe it depends. You do as much as you can while yeah, you I know. can before you. Yeah, get I know. Job. I know before everything else happens. So yeah, that's still in the process. Yeah, and just then, go up there and eat your balls. It don't matter. 
Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's definitely easier to do now. I mean, I mean because since I know, you've I been know. going up, like I think I know that's the biggest first step is just to go up. So once you just have the balls to go up, and now you don't give it, you don't care about going up or not, do you? No, I really don't. It's it not a big matter. deal, right? No, it doesn't even matter. It's nothing, isn't it? Mm-mm. Exactly. It doesn't. It's just something normal now. I mean, yeah. I still get. I mean, you still get. You still got to go up there with some thoughts in mind and hopefully somewhat yes and then keep it rolling and then people just enjoy just hearing whatever you're gonna say yeah they do and then because you know. people are usually just out if you're at an open mic you're out to have a good time and the open mic scene here i've been to a few yeah. and, you know people aren't mean no and anybody not. who's shouting is like <laughs> just stupid and trying to be a part of the show yeah i've seen them give that person the mic yeah. you know so yeah it's it's it <laughs> Yeah, it's an interesting scene. It's a, it's, a, it's an interesting way to have to come up in an industry. It's going through those open mics because it looks insurmountable. Like, what? But then you go and then you watch and then you see some people just eat their dick. And you're like, oh, you know, I can do that shit. <laughs> you know? That's what happened. Like, you go to open mic, you're like, yo. But you're like, at least he got up there. That's the biggest thing. But you'll go there and you'll be like, what the, f- wow. Yeah, there's drama that goes on, too. I'm sure you there's, see, there's plenty of drama because there's plenty of weirdos. Yeah, there's drama. People there's are weird. Of, <laughs> some of, of them are just weird. Some of them are really trying. And some of them are just. And then you uh, see some that are just like, I don't know, some. Some people fall. just go up there and want to talk. I love that part. Like, some people just go up there and talk. I saw this girl at <laughs> one of Marlo's things. She was, she was a pretty she was a cute girl. He just gave her the mic, and she went up there, and she talked. And my girl was there. I was like, you know, <laughs> she just talked. He let her talk. She talked for maybe 10 minutes. Oh, see, I don't know about it. I don't know about <clears> maybe he, not. I don't know. It, it yeah. seemed like 10 minutes. Yeah, he probably let her talk about five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, That's too fucking long. Yeah. <clears throat> she was just minutes. talking. Yeah. But I think he got tired of being up there. Yeah. That boy was up there. <laughs> a long ass time. Just rocking the crowd. Then um also the Burning Man. That those f- fools fucking went out to Burning Man, which is out in Black Rock. Nice segue, yeah. City, which is out in New Mexico. It's in New I thought it was in Nevada. Now, I'm not the type of guy to say that I wish that, that fucking shit happened to him, but all it was was rain, right? Yeah, it was rain, but yeah. see, then there was a lot of people talking shit, saying that that's what some of these people got, and I was like, come on, bro, like, I wouldn't wish nothing shit like that. That's just, like, inconvenient for all of them. It's extremely inconvenient. Now, would I personally go out to Burning Man? Probably not. No. Uh, was was it, it doesn't sound like anything I'd want to go to, uh, but definitely not now. Now, would I, I like to go and maybe... Uh, well, see, but see, then again... There is some metal artists that I do watch, mm. and some of these metal artists are... Uh, are they building Burning Men out there? Yeah, some of these metal artists. Well, they go out there and they show their artwork. Mm. So I will give Burning Man on that end. Like, when it comes to artwork, they have, like, art to show off. Right. And then they sell art from that. And there's a bunch of fucking rich-ass people that go out there. Yeah. And But, yeah, they got fucked. Like, apparently, the majority of them were driving out. And then I think it was also probably like another hyped up thing because it rained and then they were like hyping it up saying that they weren't going to be able to drive out and that just shelter in place. And then right. it all went all over the news saying it's shelter in place. So then they were like making a big deal about it. But then literally it ruined the whole concert. Yeah. <laughs> it fucking, but that's what I was saying. It, it, now on one part, I do agree. Like it, that, that shit probably sucked. All that money they spent got out there and then the fucking no concert, you know. So I wonder who even to. played at Burning Man this year. Man, it's like Diplo. It's like just random DJs, you know. That's what it is. It's Not just random DJs. DJs, but it's a lot of DJs that go there. From were all the over Eagles America. there? Well, I don't know if the Eagles were there. <laughs> Have the Eagles ever played Burning Man? If the Eagles Probably were playing not. Burning Man, this shit would have never happened. Yeah, there would have had to be some good logistics. Probably not, but it's so the weird because when you look at when, when you got an aerial view, aerial view of it, yeah, it looks all organized and and it was just all went to crap. Yeah, but just because of the rain, mm-hmm. turned it into mud. Nobody could get out. It's all digital music, so there's no. I, don't, I mean, there might be some guitar players <laughs> so there really somewhere playing guitar. Yeah, yeah. 
What's that dude? It's Sam, like all these Sam fools were like generators powering up this, that, playing. Yeah, I know. Like but it was. Yeah. Well, there's some DJs I knew that here that went over there. Yeah. And these DJs that went from here to Houston to Burning Man. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's just like. It's oh, just like, it's just a... like, like, I love music. Yeah. I just don't know if I would sacrifice that much to go play. This in is, this is unprecedented, though. This and then possibly happened. that one year that you get screwed, you, yeah, you get screwed is screwed. with. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the one year you like have that, you're like, Fest. you know what? I'm going to go. Yeah, it's not like Firefest or something. I and mean, then, this is an act of God. Yeah, we can uh, we can get into that too. But then the Firefest, <laughs> that dude sold another set of tickets. Apparently, he apparently yeah. had Firefest number two coming yeah, on. Yeah, no, and people it's are like, bro, go. come on. No, and see, that, that go. gives me it's going to be so successful. And it is. Yeah. Apparently, he's already sold out some tickets, or he sold <laughs> exactly. some tickets already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ja Rule will be back out there. <laughs> ja Rule say not fucking with. It. Man, these fools here, man. It's just—it's almost like a TV show, man. Like these fools, like they think they know what they're doing with their money, and then I don't know. Hey, man, you know I gotta imagine that's a hard <sighs> thing to put on. And look would. at the people with Burning Man. They put on flawless Burning Man over the past few years, and then the rain they, it rains in the desert, and you know. The one year it rains in the desert. Yeah, and but it won't rain here. It rained today here, For and guess what I did last night. What? I left my uh window open. Wind I wish it were the window. Oh, your sunroof? I left my sunroof open yeah. partially. Yeah. Not all the way back. It's a panoramic sunroof. Oh. But I laid it back a little bit, but like my leather, like my seats messed up. That's not good. No, it's not. It's very bad. I gotta buy seat covers or something now. I'm very distraught. Yeah, that 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 you could maybe maybe you could take it out with some leather treatment. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You have to rub it, though, with the leather. It's like a conditioner. Pause, it might bring man. it back. Some that, saddle soap? Something, maybe. I, I don't to, know, bro. It depends. I don't know, man. So Anyway, you know. I, <laughs> yeah, I woke up to that. Yeah, I was very disappointed in myself. That mess, that, that set the course for the rest of my day. But um, but at least I wasn't at Burning Man. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have been there either. Yeah, I saw something Chris Rock had gotten out successfully, but it took him hours. <laughs> It tripped me out that Chris Rock was at Burning Man. You saw that? I was wondering oh, what yeah. he was doing there. He said, like, yeah, man, I'm at Burning Man. <laughs> was he DJing? Who else goes to Burning Man? Like He was riding in the back of the truck with Diplo. I, <laughs> they were riding out. And then Diplo apparently. I dip set when and then like all of a sudden, they're like, they're they're riding out. And it's like, okay. Who were some of the others? Steve Aoki there? Uh, probably, man. That's what yeah. I said. It's a big. <laughs> I just, I just. Like to put your sacrifice, yeah, it's CNC all of that, music factory. Like there. go live in a little RV, which is RV. It's some probably a very nice, nice RV though. Some of it's those fools that, had big old RV buses that yeah, they take. Yeah, yeah. But that's what trips me they out. It's get like they, the but that's what it says. It's like some, <laughs> a lot of them are all climate activists, you know. Yeah. So yeah, a lot the of climate, them. Are, yeah, and, and then so they're, they're like, "See what we're telling you? <laughs> it's raining in the desert, and it's but not see, raining not, in the swamp." But then also, they're you know they're they're going out there, and you know obviously they got to pay diesel fuel to power. They got to yeah, get electricity. You know I mean? They're in the yeah. middle of a desert. How are they yeah. gonna get electricity for those big? They just bought a bunch of diesel. Speakers. They paid for all those speakers. Boom, boom. Yeah, all man. that base, all that's that electricity dope, they got used. Yeah, yeah, it would have been much greener, like like yeah, like the environmentalists that were Just into uh, singer songwriters, acoustic maybe, music. Yeah, you do, you don't even need maybe next. You don't year even they're, need any electricity for that. But this is all this is all computers and maybe next year they're gonna switch NPCs. over to like out, maybe not there, maybe not do the Burning Man there. Maybe they're gonna change the name. Like, yeah, they gotta do the yeah Burning Man. Exile gonna be Burning at the Man, New Orleans. Uh, <laughs> Superdome, <laughs> or just you know, uh, somewhere where yeah, it's not gonna rain. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be yeah, yeah. That'd so be yeah, the man, best place to do it. That and burn that thing in there. Astros lost his whole three games to uh, yeah to the Yankees. So the Yankees, what? So yeah. Not really, and then you know so. But no, nah, man. I guess that was that was. I mean, I guess this is a good amount. We can do like about that much right there. You know. You think so? Yeah, man. It's only thirty nine minutes. Man, it's all good, bro. Because uh, you know these these tune in next time. 
Which is yeah, I know. Good. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tune in next time, I guess. I was a little bit in about what was going on. You know, I'm still in school. I'm going to update everybody on that. That's the important thing to let everybody still, know. Is Danny's still in school. <laughs> still doing that. We're very impressed uh, by 9-11's coming up. I'm, I'm definitely going to be having a podcast on 9-11. Okay. Definitely. We're going to relive the... Uh, Not relive. relive the it's just, no, if anything, it's just... No, Yo, let's just, just put like, it on. Let's just put it on it, ABC it, News that it, day. If anything, that's just like... Because I don't remember. The, I remember the news. I remember I, I went to Hank's gym. It's still, it's just, <laughs> it's just still like an awe like, to think when yeah. you think back at that shit. To like, think. Like, I didn't go to school that day. And I went to Hank's gym that night. And, and we just watched the shit on there. And we uh, but it's just, benched. It's just so weird, though. It's, what, just, it's just a weird day. Yeah, it was an odd day. It was it was it was a very strange time. <laughs> like even when you think back, and then like the there's like not much much hype, meaning like everything's calm. You know, everything's yeah, kind of yeah. panned we, out. We are but, resilient people. We get over it pretty quickly. When you still think about it, it's like yo, that wasn't cool. Like <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> it was cool. Like the opposite of cool. Wasn't like it? even if it was like people were saying oh yeah, this and over. that and whatever, but. Yeah, then the next episode would probably be around nine eleven, because that's uh, yeah. We, I'm telling you, we should relive the day. We should play. The oh day. yeah, and then well, I mean, also the other idea was doing the UFC fight and then uh, doing the commentate on that while watching. You want to do that? You want to do like a fight companion? Oh, it maybe, but Let's that that would that. be the next. Well, that would be the one. That would okay. So the UFC coming up, it's going to be Strickland uh, against Asanya, uh, and Asanya just won against Alex Pereira. Yeah. And then um, let's do a fight companion for just some generic judo uh, tournament. <laughs> well, the other idea too would be do uh, like go to do and that. peep the Fury fighting man, but those tickets are pretty, you know. Fury gotta, fighting, yeah, I gotta get the tickets for that too. Okay, and that's a local thing here in Houston. Yeah, but we're not that's gonna be on a podcast Sunday. from there. No, nah, but I, but that's another guy I'm, you know, plan on bringing on to one of the Fury fighters. Fury fight, yeah. yeah. Where do they fight? Here. What, what, what uh, escape video? A 2011 hmm. Escape B it's, I believe it's north on 45 Like yeah huh. So And then uh, No it's a club club Like a Like a club or something hmm. So So yeah So That and said uh, A lot Gonna Like a, every other week So yeah So keep this going I wanna do it every week Yeah every week so. Just put as much out as possible. I, I came here late <laughs> for this. I'm going to get in such bad trouble. All right, man. But we can talk about this whole day. Cool. Next time, I guess. I wanted to talk about it now, but it's okay. Yeah, no, I know. Why, why, yeah, but. Don't worry yeah. about it, Danny. Hey, yeah. man. I'm just glad we came on and did it uh, at all. Uh, well, I just just, pray. You get just put some right. content out. Just oh, I'm getting very much home. All right, I gotta go to work <laughs> in the morning. Is the crazy thing. Oh, man. See, it'd be nice if uh, it didn't have to do anything. <sighs> well, 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 we'll sign off. And then are uh, we signing yeah. off? Yeah, we're going to sign off. Oh, this is like therapy. It's cheaper than therapy. No, it, it, it's, 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 yeah, it is. It is that. Look at Danny being all paternalistic. <laughs> oh, you should go to bed, man. Like, you know. <laughs> but he's right. All right. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Later. What is this? Lab-